So this should probably go without saying. Today's project is, you know, along the advanced level, okay? This is something that um, you probably want to hire an electrician to do. I'm just showing you how to wire it up as an electrician would. Um, so it, it, use extreme caution if you're going to be doing any of this stuff and make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to ever be doing any electrical or wiring project. How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and I'm bringing a video today to you on how to hook up a circuit breaker to a 240 volt appliance okay so this here as you can see I got an air compressor I picked up the other night and uh, if we take a look at the uh, motor on here I don't know if you can see all this stuff but basically the important thing you want to look at here is the amount of volts this is 240 volts and the amps are 15 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up to a breaker make sure that it has 240 volts and we're going to have a 20 amp double breaker so we'll show you how to wire that up um, working over at our service panel so that's where we're going next before this project begins I'm going to turn off the breaker to my entire detached garage because that's where the air compressor is going to be so right here where it says garage sub panel we're going to hit off and that will turn all the power off to my detached garage. So now it is safe to work inside that breaker box. The project that we're working on today is something that you might want to hire an electrician to do if you don't feel comfortable um, doing your own wiring and getting things inspected, okay? So please use extreme caution. Be careful if you're going to be doing any wiring um, in your circuit panel. So when you're working on your panel, you want to turn off the main breaker. Okay, so to do that, you're going to move this top breaker, the 100 amp one, to the off position. Now, the electrons aren't flowing through the rest of the board. Okay. Um, However, these lugs here up top are still hot, so you have to be careful. You can't touch them. Um, you might notice in my video, mine is actually on the on position, and that is because I turned off the power on a separate building over here. So I can go into that breaker over there, and that turns off all the power out here in my detached garage. All right, so make sure that if, if you can't turn it completely off, that you just turn it off at, at the breaker. So basically, to uh, get inside your panel, what you want to do is remove the four mounting screws. All right, up there, up here, and I've already loosened up these screws for the sake of video. Mine's nice, it doesn't fall off if there are no screws holding it in place. There's like little clips. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our panel and we're going to carefully lift it out of here with one hand at that and take a look in the panel. Alright guys, the best way to run a circuit like this is to wire up your appliance first. Okay, So whether it's an oven or it's an air compressor or a table saw, have your wire run coming out the wall where you're going to hook up your appliance. Take the wire, hook it up to the appliance first. That way the wire is dead, there's no electrons flowing through it, you can't get electrocuted. Get everything all set up right. And by the way, this is not set up right, this has to be going through this clamp. Okay, this is just, uh, I was running a test circuit making sure the thing worked. Um, hook that up first. Then run your wire up through your walls, do your home run all the way back into the box, and then hook up your breaker. Once your breaker's hooked up, make sure your breaker's in the off position, and you're going to insert it into the box. So that's the way you want to do it. Alright guys, you're going to need to get yourself a double 20 amp breaker, okay? And when you go down to Home Depot or whatever, you need to know the brand. This one's a Siemens. So they make different brands. There's like Square D. And what you need to do is you can look up in your cabinet and look for a brand on any of the sides of the breakers. Okay. 
and then you go down to Home Depot and just tell them you need a double 20 amp for something like this. You're also going to need to run 12 gauge wire. Okay, 12 gauge wire is a little bit thicker than your standard 14 gauge that you use for most uh, house wiring. Okay, um, whenever you use, in basic terms, whenever you use uh, 12 gauge wire, what you need to use is a 20 amp breaker. Okay, we're going to wire it up for 240, so we need a double. So basically, if you have 14 gauge wire, you're going to need to use a 15 amp breaker. Okay, but we're using a 20 gauge breaker, so we need 12 gauge wire. So, next thing we're going to do, you can see I ran this into the box. Up top, what I did when I built this is I put a pipe there that goes up to the attic, and uh, up in there's the attic, all the way up that wall. I can, from the attic, slide that wire down into the box. I've already done that. Next, I'm going to strip back the yellow wire casing all the way up to that pipe. So if you take a look, I've now stripped the wire, okay, and I have nice long leads. Um, one other thing that you want to know is you want to run a dedicated wire. That means you want one wire going to, in my case, this air compressor, all right, because, you know, that wire is going to have uh, to do a heck of a job keeping a six horsepower pump going on an air compressor. So you don't want to hook anything else up to it. For instance, if we turn around here, I got my table saw there, and that's wired up exactly the same way. It's 240 volts, and it has a double 20 amp breaker. If I tied it onto the table saw, here's what would happen. I'd be cutting a board on my table saw, and all of a sudden, my air compressor would run out of pressure and need to turn on automatically, which they do. And when I'm cutting on the saw, drawing, 15 amps and um, my air compressor comes on drawing 15 amps it's going to trip the breaker okay that's why you want to have what they call in the industry home runs one wire going back to one breaker to control one particular piece of equipment so if we take a look in the panel you can see in my particular panel all the ground wires are going out to the right they're coming down and they're hooking on to that bar that silver bar right there okay and if we go up top and we look over you'll notice that all the common wires all the white wires are going over here to this bar okay and the black wires generally are going to the breakers okay you want to try and keep your panel nice and neat so you know if you're ever working with electricity you know what you're doing so what we're going to be doing is we're going to run our ground from the top all the way down to right and we're going to tie it in to the bus bar to an empty screw and there's plenty of empty screws I can come all the way down here if I need to and our white and black wires because we're running a double pull 20 amp circuit um, we're going to hook both of these wires they're both going to be hot they're both going to get hooked up to our breaker alright guys my ground wire is coming in from the top and it's running up to the top corner like all the other ground wires and it's coming all the way down here and here it is sticking out okay and I'm just gonna show you how to attach that ground wire onto the bar here okay so what you want to do is uh, take the wire and you're gonna carefully feed it in underneath the screw where you want it to mount and you're gonna be using just a flathead screwdriver and you want to tighten that up so you're going to turn this set screw to the right until it seats on that ground alright guys I've routed my two wires basically to where they need to go there's a black wire and a white wire left so you have your hot and your common wire and what we're going to do is we're going to attach those wires to these two screws on our double breaker it really doesn't matter which wire goes to which screw, they're both going to be hot, but generally I usually put on the top screw the hot wire and on the bottom screw the common wire. So all you have to do is insert the wires, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, let me keep that about right there, oops, insert the wires in here like this and then you want to tighten up 
your set screw. And I apologize if you can't see what I'm doing. All right. So that one's on there nice and snug. And then you'll do the same with the white one. So you're going to have two wires basically getting power from the breaker panel. And you want to make sure that you snug these really tight. You don't want them to come loose. So snug them up. So now that you have your wires attached to those lugs, we secured them, we made sure they were tight. The next thing you need to do is clip it in the box. You need to make sure that your breaker's in the off position. It's going to be safer for the install of uh, the breaker. So you're going to take it. There's, uh, for this particular panel, there's some clips on the back right. So you lock it in on the clips there, and then you just push down, and that should snap in. You want to make sure it's securely in place. So once your job's complete, you want to make sure that you take the time to label the side here so you know, you know what you're turning off. It's a lot safer that way. And there's these metal tabs that you can just grab and you just keep working them back and forth and eventually these tabs will break off. There we go. And we're doing a double breaker, so we gotta break two tabs. Alright, so here's the second tab. My camera actually ran out of batteries. And you can see that um, that's the way you need it. And then you're gonna put the uh, four bolts in the corners. And you wanna, I'll leave the power off until I'm ready to use my air compressor. So I'm Double Wide 6. I appreciate you guys watching. I have a whole bunch of repair videos. And I ask that you check out my Double Wide 6 page and please subscribe. Thanks. I hope you learned something.